Balancing chemical equations. So in this problem it says balance the following chemical equation. We have phosphorus plus O2 yields P4O6. So what happens here is what we have to do is first write, um, is first think about how many do we have on each side. Right now we have only one P on the left side, one uh, we have two oxygens on this side, and we have six oxygens on this side. Six oxygens, four phosphorus. Yeah. Even though they're chemically combined, I'm keeping them separate. So here I have one phosphorus, and I have two oxygen. I have two oxygen atoms or oxygens. So what I'm going to do is try to balance it out by changing the coefficients to make sure that this can happen. So here I have, four, I'm going to start with the easy one first because P, I can put any number in here and it's going to match whatever it is, no matter if it's even or odd. So since this is 4, all I have to do is change this coefficient to 4 and I have 4 P's on this side. So if I do add 4, now I have 4 phosphorus on this side, on the left side, on the reactant side, and four phosphoruses on that side. So I've balanced that part of my equation. Now I'm just left with oxygens. So now I have to go to the oxygen and I see there's six oxygens on this side and two oxygens on this side. So I have to think of the coefficient that can go here. So think of it actually as a number I can multiply by two to get six or six divided by two which is going to give me three because three times 2, which I can do to figure out how many total atoms I have, 3 times 2, because it's what this means, 3O2, 3O2, means that I have one oxygen molecule, two oxygen molecules, three oxygen molecules, three oxygen molecules here, and that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 oxygens. So that gives me 6 oxygens on the left side and also six oxygens as we did before had before six oxygens on the right side of the equation so now it yields the correct amount because we balance the equation so 4p plus 3o2 yields p4o6 so those atoms hit and collide with each other and make 1p4o6